Ince wants uh, more. Root driving again. This time it's too uh, straight for Sam Northeast to get to. A lovely shot by Root just pushing through on it. Northeast with a despairing dive. Not how that affects batting here. As Root drives through the offside. This could be it. This will be it. Joe Root just digging one out really from Harris. And uh, past the despairing dive at cover and brings up three figures for the 45th time in a great career. Harris in and Root driving down the ground. That'll be four more. Again, just over pitching and he's on to anything. And bowls and beams slashes that one through the offside and will pick up his first runs in style. On 148 and he's punching this one through the offside. He might pick up four here. He might go to 150 for the first time in his first class career and he has with four runs. Bowls his first delivery and that's punched towards the offside and that's going to crack away to the boundary. Four runs there for Finlay Bean. Beautiful shot, square, straight to the boundaries. In an unbroken uh, third wicket partnership of 253 with Gary Balance a few years ago and he's getting closer to that again here with a lovely shot. That one short of length from McElroy. As McElroy is in and a lovely push this time by Root once again. Beautiful shot. Mason Crane in again. And this one is slogged towards the leg side and that's uh, heading towards the boundary and in fact he's crossing over the boundary line. There's four more runs towards the leg side. This was a sort of mid-wicket uh, area. Comes in, bowls, makes delivery and that's hit straight down the ground by Finlay Bean for another beautiful shot and four more runs to his total. Six in fact. In comes Crane again. Next one again. Oh, he's bowled him straight through. And Crane finally gets a wicket. Finally, a wicket is taken, and it's the wicket of Finlay Bean. T4 o'clock today, folks. McElroy in. Edge this time. Well, Joe Root does have an edge on his bat. <laughs> he's just shown us it. It's raced away for four. Facing up to Mason Crane again, and this one, again, it's hit over. The uh, long off field, and that's going to go straight over, in fact, uh, for four runs. Bevan again. Bowls, reverse sweep from Root, and that'll run away for four runs. Down to the third man boundary. As uh, Crane comes in, this next delivery hit towards the leg side, and it looks as though it's going to bisect the two fielders on the mid-wicket boundary, deep mid-wicket. And uh, smashed it over mid-wicket. Umpire Newell just consulting with the fielder. Did it maybe go all the way? Bevan bowls full toss. Slapped into the offside. That was asking for it. Byron might have got a finger on it, but not enough to prevent it. Racing away to the boundary in front of the scoreboard to our left. But he's hit two sixes. And he hammers another four through the offside. Scorching away. Well, we had a temporary lull in proceedings. Harris bowls and Root gets a possible inside edge there or bottom edge. It's run away for four. It was to the left of keeper Chris Cook. Is into Joe Root on 156. Big appeal out. LBW up goes the finger. Glamorgan were keen on that one for obvious reasons. And Joe Root's superb innings comes to an end balls to Tattersall and uh, he is off the mark here with runs down to fine leg and it'll be four of them in fact as it's beaten the dash it's, uh, first delivery from James Harris punch towards the boundary by uh, Tattersall they've given themselves a chance of achieving that as Tadasol paddles one nicely, and that's right out of the Joe Root paddle textbook for four runs. And Brook runs it down to third man, and that brings up Harry Brook's half century. And it's come off 63 deliveries and included three fours and two sixes. Crane bowls, pulled, heaved through the leg side by Tadasol. That one's gone all the way for half a dozen. 
onto that one quickly. Crane bowls, and that'll be a stumping as uh, Johnny Tassel came down the wicket, looked to hoik it over mid wicket. Gamely as Ravis goes for the sweep and he's bowled. And Crane now has four wickets, and Glamorgan have a second bowling point 518 for six. As he's edged that one and taken by Sub Gorvin, looking for the drive, Harry Brook didn't quite get to the pitch of it. He has gone for 65, and Mason Crane has a slightly unli unlikely five wicket haul. In he comes and bowls, and this one is played beautifully through the covers past Sean Massoud, and that'll be four runs. First boundary for Glamorgan. Glorious shot through the covers. Yeah, Code comes in again. And this time it's square cut, and uh, that's going to head towards the boundary. Four runs. Yeah, nicely timed from uh, Billy Roots. As in con comes Code again. This time he's played it to the offside, nudged between gully fielder. And that's again going to head towards the boundary. Four more runs. Yeah. On the Surrey player. And Byram driving at a wide one and getting four runs through the covers. Moriarty. Just giving him a bit of width there. 1979. Mm. Here's the code. Ooh, that skews away off Billy's bat. Just wide of the cordon and will bobble over the rope down by the blotter. Fielding placements <laughs> and immediately Ben Code is slapped unceremoniously for four runs by Billy Root. It's code again, and Billy pushing forward into a <laughs> yawning gap through the offside this time, and we'll pick up four more. Nicely played over the top of it. Nothing wrong with the shot. But it's uh, Eddie Byram facing to Don Moriarty and coming down the pitch and driving through the covers for four. Well, that was uh, interesting from uh, Byram. As Byram... Drives through the offside again for four. Well, I don't think Yorkshire will be too concerned about seeing Byron play those shots. He's found the gap, but faces up to Moriarty again. Brings out the reverse sweep. There are shouts of catch, but uh, no one will catch it as it runs away to the boundary. As uh, Moriarty is in to bowl. And Root on the back foot, and uh, it's got through. It's dislodged the... Off bail and Billy Root is bowled by Dan Moriarty. Moriarty bowls and uh, North East is off the mark with four runs. Just uh, turning it away gently through the leg side past the umpire raced. Cut back at a point if it comes, but it's not going to come from this delivery, which is a poor one from Bess. Full toss and got the treatment it deserved. Flicked away through the Yawning gap on the onside there. Bess, once again, and uh, slog sweep played here by Byram. He's going to get four more. Fisher, he's giving chase and trips himself up as he's Ooh. going to try and field that. 4-1, Byram waits and Bess. Oh, now it has gone underneath this one. It's gone aerial. Is it going to be caught? It is caught. Ben Code makes enough ground to take the catch. Byram with a top-edged... Uh, Slog sweep, really, I think it was. As Carlson edges that one, he'll get runs here. It was a safe edge. It was on the ground past the slips. It might just trickle. It does just trickle towards the ropes as Adam Lythe gives chase. But it's 4 to Kieran Carlson. Here comes Moriarty again. And this one, an attacking shot this time uh, by Carlson. And uh, that's been dispatched to the uh, boundary. And it's uh, Moriarty. Comes in again. This next delivery is square cut. Uh, but uh, I think it's just... Uh, yep, it's gone down to the boundary. Bess in. Bowls to Carlson, who comes down the wicket. And oh. is he stumped? No. Yes! Yes. Finally given after a long delay. It seemed to scuff off the bottom edge. Close wrong thing there. Anyway, Don Moriarty comes in, next one, and that again, it's played off the bat and ends up, ends up with uh, Joe Root 